Good morning. Welcome to the Sunflower News. This is Katie. And Kenna. Reporting the news. Today is Friday, November 6, 2015. It is an A-Day. Salisbury steak, hot roll, oven roasted potatoes, fresh broccoli, spicy apples, and milk will be served lunch today. Sounds good. It will be sunny today with a high of 60 degrees. The weekend forecast calls for sunny skies with highs in the 50s. Chloe Long and Tyler Mucklow are celebrating their birthdays today. We hope you both have a great day. Happy birthday wishes go to Kate Bunnell, who will be celebrating over the weekend. Have a happy birthday, Kate. Our watchdog today is Mr. Smale, Kenneth Leonard's uncle. Thanks for helping us out, Mr. Smale. We appreciate it. Veterans Day is next Wednesday, November 11th. Veterans Day was first observed on the first anniversary of the end of World War I, which was November 11th, 1919. It became a national holiday in 1938. It was originally called, called Armistice Day. In 1954, President Eisenhower changed the name to Veterans Day. Britain, France, Australia, and Canada also celebrate veterans on or near November 11th. However, Canada and Britain call it Remembrance Day. Veterans Day is often confused with Memorial Day. Memorial Day is celebrated on the fourth Monday in May. This national holiday honors American service members who died in service to their country or as a result of injuries incurred during battle. Veterans Day pays tribute or honors all American veterans, living or dead, but especially gives thanks to living veterans who serve their country honorably during war or peacetime. There are many ways to show veterans how much you, we appreciate their service. Walmart is promoting the green light campaign. They are urging people to change one light in their home, preferably a porch light, to green. This is to show veterans how much we appreciate their service. Another way to say thank you is to attend a parade, event, or school assembly honoring veterans. Our assembly will begin at 8 o'clock in the gym next Wednesday. Remember to be polite, be on your best behavior, and say thank you to our guests for their service. Let a veteran know how much you, you care by writing a letter or sending a card. Mrs. Wiersma, Mrs. Pennington, and Mrs. Taylor's classes recently sent letters to veterans. There is an organization called the Honor Flight. The Honor Flight flies veterans to Washington, D.C. for a very busy day of sightseeing. The veterans get to visit all the memorials that are dedicated to veterans of war. On the flight home, there is a mail call. This is where the veterans receive letters from family and friends and students thanking them for their service. Thank you, Sunflower students, for making someone's mail call special. Fly the American flag and say the Pledge of Allegiance with pride. There are specific rules to follow when flying the American flag. Be sure to know them and follow them. One last idea is to donate to causes that help veterans. Right now, you and your family can donate patriotic t-shirts, any size, any color. Also, the donations can be red, white, and blue fabric, blue or red sheets, mattress pads, or cash that will be used to purchase other needed supplies. These items will be used to make and distribute patriotic quilts to veterans in the VA hospitals. Sunflower will be collecting these things until, no, until Tuesday, November 10th. Please consider helping with this very worthwhile cause. We'd like to end this news story with the following poem. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. 
Thank you to all the men, men and women who have served our country and have helped secure the freedoms we enjoy. Now please stand and face the flag while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. 